I'm Farida Lashai's daughter, Maneli, um, and really the identity is very much defined as in relation to her. Farida was an artist who had a lot of different aspects to her practice. And she was a writer, she was a translator, she was politically active. Basically, she was a very creative soul that was engaged with all aspects of the society, whether it was Iran, the Iranian revolution, the whole society that she was living. She had her education mainly in Europe, in Germany and in Austria, and this exhibition is focusing on the early years of her practice that was with glass design and ceramic design and the designs that were the inspiration for the ceramics and for the glass vases that she was designing for Riedel in Kufstein and for Rosenthal in Zelp, Germany. Her practice as a painter is not always abstract. It starts with abstraction in Europe, in Germany, at the very, very early time in the 1960s and 1970s, that is extremely abstract. Then it becomes little by little, a little more figurative, and she has a long period of trees, flowers, and, and sea, and they are kind of an excavation for her own individuality uh, as a woman and, um, and trees as like the identity forming and then seeing itself with, with other people. The narratives and the relation with community would really come out in writing and in other collaboration and the communal life in the intellectual circles in Iran. Uh, it really came out in the works of the last decade of her life, maybe, le yeah, last decade, I would say, which are video paintings. So it's projection of videos on paintings and they're narrative-based and they're historical reviews of things she has experienced and a lot of people in the Iranian society have experienced and some of them have a much more international, global language. <laughs> A very signature element of her work is to juxtapose um, opposite materials to each other, uh, oppositions, in terms of heaviness and lightness, in terms of bringing glass with iron, for example, in sculptures. But in this painting, you always see, and in many of these series of paintings, that she plays with weight, and the weight and everything that is heavy goes on the top and there's lightness at the bottom of the painting, which is the opposite of what is really happening on, in our reality. The silk screen prints that we have produced posthumously uh, as the foundation and all the proceeds of it will go to the you know to the funding of the monograph but they are focused so they are very very different works from the 60s 1961 62 and then you have works from the 2000s which are abstract paintings and the early works are much more design based they are much more confined they're much more controlled and they are the inspiration for the designs that were produced in factories. What we have produced is really based on these designs on cult paper that are not designs to be produced from, but inspiration designs that were done in the 1960s for the glasses. They are silk screens, um, so the methodology that has been used is screen printing and it has its own artistic value. They have been done by Cov Editions. Uh, Tarlan Rafi and Yashar Sam Mufakham. They're print masters and they have produced this. They are 28 um, images, 28 silk screens that are gathered together as a collection and it's produced in an edition of 50. So they are from 1961, 1962, so she was 18 years old until, or maybe a little later, so 1964, um, so she was uh, in her tw early 20s that she produced these and I think they're some of the most beautiful works that she has.